Hi, I'm Steve from Yoko Gao Support. Welcome to another Exaquantum training video. The ARA user interface consists of a set of menus and a viewing area to see the reports. The applications menu can be accessed by clicking on the Exaquantum ARA link in the site header. It contains links to other applications in the Exaquantum family of products. There is also a link to the dashboard and to the support page. The main menu shows links to the ARA reports currently available. The reports are grouped as follows. Management Performance Operations and Maintenance The rightmost link on the site header shows the currently logged in user. When clicked on a submenu is displayed showing a list of languages that ARA can be displayed in. The ARA homepage is also referred to as the dashboard. You can always return to the dashboard from the applications menu. The upper section of the dashboard shows each area performance for the previous day. Here there are two areas, lower one and upper one. Each area is defined by the title and by three KPIs. Clicking on the area title drills down to the area performance report. Clicking the average alarm rate drills down to the area alarm average report. Clicking the max alarm rate drills down to the area alarm peak. The lower section of the dashboard shows a graph of alarm distribution by area. Hovering the mouse pointer over a section of the graph will display numerical values for each area for the day in a pop-up box. Finally, the support page can be accessed via the ARA support link in the site header. This provides access to all of the ARA user and engineering manuals. Each report has a similar reporting environment. All reports contain a print button located on the top right of the page. Clicking this button generates a PDF print preview. This can then be adjusted before being printed or saved. All reports have the ability to export data in a number of formats. Exported data can be saved locally for subsequent use. Clicking on the COG menu displays the export options. All reports have the ability to filter data. Each report type has a different set of filter criteria. These are described for each report in their relevant sections. Selecting filters and clicking the apply button will filter the content of the report. Some filters allow a single selection from a drop down menu. Entering characters in the search box limits the drop down list to matching items. Multi select filters allow a number of items. Clicking on the blank space in the filter will bring up a list of available values for selection. Each type of report has a period and subperiod parameters to select the time range on the reports. When selecting the period filter, the subperiod filter will automatically be updated to provide relevant time periods.
For reports such as the raw alarm and event report, date time filters are available. They are set by a combination of two controls, one for the date and one for the time. All reports implement a standard paging mechanism. This allows a portion of the total data set to be displayed at any time. Reports are configured with a drill down option on some fields, for instance the date time field. Drilling to the lowest level will always display the raw events data. Where a report includes the option to show suppressed data, the suppression type field is available. A drop down selector is used in the filter to select the type required. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.